But there's something I don't understand, which is when you love so much Rembrandt, when you possess several Rembrandt, how many Rembrandt do you have? Fifteen. Fifteen, okay. So when you are fifteen, you don't live with any of them. Mm -hmm. So why? It's not really a question of why don't you live with Rembrandt or how don't you live with Rembrandt. For us, the passion about the artist, what he means, what in fact the Dutch Golden Age means, is such that I would reverse the question. How can we live with a Rembrandt? We have taken advantage of a unique moment. And over the last decade and a half, having acquired as many paintings as we have and having acquired paintings so deeply. If you remember, you know, with Rembrandt, we literally cover works with his earliest known signature all the way through to his late period, his smallest painting, um, to a masterwork like the Minerva, which is one of his most important paintings of the 1630s. This, for Rembrandt, represents what art was meant to be. When Rembrandt went to Amsterdam, he made his living, he made his money through portraiture, because he became very quickly the most famous uh, artist in, uh, in Holland after 1632. But this is what, to him, represented great art. To Rembrandt, an artist meant to be a history painter. And so when you see Minerva or any of what we call the series, the Artemisia, um, the Saphonespa, you know, the representations in the Hermitage and the Prado and the National Gallery and the Met, they represent for Rembrandt the apogee of great art. This was why he became an artist. And that's why you don't want to keep it for yourself? I can't. But for I can't. To look at it each, uh, every morning for breakfast. <laughs> that's you, just not who we are. You don't feel allowed to do that? I don't judge what other collectors do with their art. If they have the money to express their taste, you know, capitalism has been good for me. I'm not going to project our own values onto anyone else. It's not my business. Um, it would be an expression of intolerance, yes. the likes of which we try to get people to, to avoid. All I know is that for Daphne and myself, it was never a question of whether we could live with this. The idea that rather than taking art from the private domain and putting it out into the public domain, that we would be taking art from the private domain and keeping it. It's just not who we are.